Hey, it's Ashley Journeys, and today I'm going to be discussing some things I was talking to um, a few of my coworkers about when I was at work last weekend. Um, we were discussing future stuff, you know, robots, all that stuff, and. One of my coworkers is just not as cynical as me when it comes to not really trusting the government or um, the aspirations and ambitions and goals of a lot of private companies within the technology sphere. This is going to lean towards um, dipping in the not so upside of the Great Reset that is coming along with the new age technology that I would like to see. But they're like everything in life. There's a downside to things. So the downside that I don't trust and even this same coworker who trusts the government with all her heart, okay, <laughs> said that she does not want to take the corona vaccine. I don't want to take it, but I don't want to take it because I already distrust the government and, again, the goals of a lot of private companies. Even if they were nonprofit, okay? Again, I don't trust the goals of them. Anyways, so I went and I told her, uh, okay, well, I didn't, I didn't went, I, we were standing there, it was a lull in some business stuff, so we were discussing these things. I told her, I said, look, you trust the government when the Tuskegee experiment um, exists and you trust that all they, they care about the people, but they put in a lot of regulations for when a new form of living, of housing came up, which was tiny homes, which would have saved so many people, especially in this age and time, from being homeless, in the cold, dying, getting sick, all this stuff. Okay, when I say getting sick, I mean getting sick from w the weather conditions. Like, oh, it's really cold or, or they got wet and they got sick. And oh, they crowded up with other homeless people. So that's even making them get more sick. It's uh, obviously other reasons why they got sick. Okay, but if the government cared about the people so much, why would they issue regulation? And w even though Biden is coming into the office, why wouldn't he say he would go and remove said regulation where they won't basically force you to have to get a regular house when you can't afford a regular house and you don't or you either can't afford rent no more or you don't want to do rent no more why is off-grid illegal why it used to not be it used to be like oh if you want to live in a trailer blah blah but they regulated it to death that it's like, oh, yeah, even if you buy a trailer, if you go to the um, the trailer park, you have to um, pay for rent for your stuff there. And it's like, oh, okay. But no. And then the rent becomes exorbitant. Okay, just to pay for your trailer to stay there. Then they say, oh, um, if you can't pay the rent, we just going to steal your, yeah, because that's stealing. We're going to um, take your property from you because, you know, we, we made it legal and within our right. This is private companies that lobbied, paid, lobbied is a different word play for paid. It's synonymous with paid. They paid to make it where they can take what you paid for so you can't own nothing basically in America, not even if you are... um. What they call those people? They say you are like a vagabond or um one of those I forgot one of those hippie people or something where you always go on pillar to post and you have your little um wagon that takes you the, here and there and then you're like oh I got a trailer this time nope yep they made that all illegal so if tiny homes are illegal now 
And they only have sanctuary places where they have excuse me, a cluster of tiny homes and they had to go through a lot of regulations and the person who invested in those sanctuary mini towns or whatever or complexes, um, they were rich. You have to be like a millionaire or something and be like, oh, okay, and then the people could rent off the plot. Like, it's just stupid. But anyway, it just ruins the whole idea of having a tiny house. You have it, so you're going to be in debt. So you can own your stuff. And then they like, oh, but wait, there's more. No, owning your stuff, no. So I was telling her, if you think the government cares so much and loves people so much, how come that is the case, okay? How come that is um a thing they're not dealing with, the homeless issue? How come that is the case? And I was, they, she was like, oh, well, I mean, I still don't trust them with giving out the vaccine, but, you know, I do think that they um, regulate a lot of new tech to make it where it's best for us. And that's why we haven't gotten um, robots that are, like, walking in our houses and stuff and our assistants. We only have them on our phones. I'm like, that's pathetic. That's horse poop. I don't need a robot assistant on my phone, okay? Recording my conversations, just doing all the lazy junk for private companies. No, I need a robot walking in my house, not a dang on robot in my phone. The robot in my phone can't change a broken light bulb. The robot in my phone can't pick me up so I could reach something. The robot in my phone can't pick up something heavy when I can't pick it up. The robot in my phone can't double as a father um, for um, somebody's kids that lost their dad in war and all that stuff. So we don't really need what they keep pushing and selling to us. But of course, it benefits who? Private companies again. So it's like, girl... Anyway, so then she was like... Okay, well, we're just going to agree to disagree. I'm like, we could agree to disagree all day, but I'm this type of person. When you say we agree to disagree, I don't really want to hear you complaining when I'm right either. So you better go complain to those people that believe to what you believed in when it all comes crumbling down. When you realize, when you find out I'm right, if I come out to be right, I don't want to hear you complaining. If you come out to be right, I'm not complaining complain to you. Complain to the like-minded people because I hate when you always come to people who did not think like you and thought um opposing ways from what how you thought and you always end up oh let's all cry about it no no because you were wrong no but anyway so yeah so she was like um yeah i think how, how robot um technology is going these days it's at a good pace I'm like, no, it's not. I want my robot husband yesterday. I want it now. And I want my robot husband to be able to walk around the house, pick me up, okay? Drive me here and there, all that stuff, okay? That's what I want. And I wanted it a long time ago. And I still want it, but it's like really overdue. So then she, so, so some other girl that works with us is like, yeah, um, that's, you know, yeah, we should have robots that walk around and all that stuff and move around um, all on their own. And does it depend on me to lift it or some other contraption to hold it up and all that? And I was like, mm hmm. And then the, uh, some other lady um, that I was working with, she interjected in me and this girl's um, dispute. And she was like, um, I can't have a robot husband that's all metal everything i mean what i need a real guy's organic flong like what if he if his private areas isn't um real i can't take it i'm like okay y'all say y'all can't take it but be the first ones to buy vibrators and go to the um the um sex shops and get different dildos it's like stop playing stop playing okay all of y'all would be so gung-ho and buying up the robot husbands before I could even save up all my coins to get him, okay? Y'all be buying up the model, the prototype, um, before me just because a lot of natural born guys disappoint you, whether it be in the boudoir or whether it be how he doesn't listen 
or he is not helping leading you well and you want um one that's strong and give you good advice and all that stuff on stuff you didn't know about and it's like you might as well date a computer you wanted one that is a leader um gives you good advice okay now i'm all, i look i'm a equal opportunity employer okay cuz there's a guy that I like, he is a natural born um, human guy. And I'm just like, I think he's cute and all that stuff. He looks like how all of most of my um, guys that I've liked or, you know, dated look. He has, he's tan, cause you know, he can't be pallid, but he can't be too much he's just medium i like he's tall he has a thunderous deep voice it's like check 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 and then he's strong he have a lot of muscles yes yes okay she likes what she sees she likes what she hears but um would i wait forever for him to be like noticing me and stuff or um for us to be get married or or um you know end up being together for a long period of time no if i want something i rather not have to rely on any man or anyone to get it really and when it comes to romance and partnerships and friendships it's just a i feel like it's an outdated notion everybody now dates just to bang it's all lust and no sustenance. There's no content to it. There's no meat to it. It's just watered down nothingness. So I'd rather be paired up with a robot who can tell me the algebraic equations to the blah blah, blah and, um, you know, give me good advice on business by, I don't know, Googling or um, doing research for me, entering databases just to come back and say, oh, yeah, for business idea wise, this would be a bit. Oh, that was already copywritten in 1958, blah, blah, blah. I'd rather that. I'd rather him be like, oh, this is the best light bulb. And then goes and twists it in after um, we buy it and stuff. And oh, this is the best car for the environment and blah, blah, blah. Honestly, yes. I love when they're very smart and they give me the breakdown and um tell me the definition of and what's what what's the history of this and, and what's that yeah but guess what only a robot could do that it's rare to find a human male that would have actually put most of his lifetime doing research and that's actually even interested in romance so i want my robot husband and i don't care okay yeah? I don't care if I like um, human guys today, tomorrow, whatever. But with who I settle down with, I want it to be a robot husband. Yes. So hurry up and make my Android robot husband, okay, that can move on his own because this is overdue, okay? Compared to pushing this dang on vaccine, trying to edit our genes, trying to go and uh, make us sicker and all this stuff. And... Pushing a new world um, system where it's like, oh, well, we um, lean on, excuse me, virtual coins and all that stuff. It's like, okay, that's great. But what about my robot husband? Because I'm going to always roll back to, but where's my robot husband? So how about we solve that one and then we could do all this other stuff. But I still don't want to take no vaccine and I don't want to be genetically... Um, Altered to suit a private corporation's means or motives or whatever they have. Like, stop being lazy and make your own robots. How about that? Let's follow Japan and make those mega robots. They have. They already have a transformer. No, the, um, it's not a transformer. It's a um, a Gundam robot out there, and it moves. It's a mega one. So if it moves and Japan have um, robots out there that could um, talk to people in the store and tell them, oh, you have to practice social distancing, all that stuff. Where's my robot husband? Where is he? No excuse. There's no excuse.